Hello everybody, here's Michael Mark and welcome to my work channel. Here another family, they are so poor and they help build from team and living in the middle of somewhere. see the kitchen and open field this is the open field that nobody live here you only can see one house live there grandpa to soy 75 years old and grandma Emlon 71 years old and they have one kid live with them he is get really really sick you can see his leg swelling he cannot work he live with his parent putak and Puwot went there this is the gap province and a chance to go see her how is her life uh, you can see this open field and only one house uh, around here and no other house. They are old too, you know, they're 75 and 71 years old. Uh, they have no job available around here, but one of the company want to help the family and they told Grandpa to join 75 years old to having a job as security. He work as security, he can only earn $150 a month, but it's not enough for her family. You can see how their house, and they have no money to pay for this team to make a better roof, a better wall, you can see a hole all over the place with this small house. I would like to share the real life of Cambodian people live in Cambodia, how their life condition and how they make the living. It isn't easy for them because we have no job available, especially if the job. But with no job around, what you going to do? And you cannot earn any income and make a better life. And even they cannot afford for their shelter either. You can see a hole behind her, like they build it from sugar palm leaf. And sugar palm leaf is not last for longer. The sugar palm leaf, it look like the paper is not stay for longer, just temporary, but they want to make it a permanent shelter, it's not going to help them much. You can see the hole of the wall behind them, and her son got in sick, you see, his feet is swelling, but have no money to send him to see the doctor. It's Cambodian people. He's 75 years old and 71 years old. If they are pretty old because they don't have enough food to eat and they didn't have good shelter to stay and they cannot afford to go see doctor. Our body need food to survive and need food to stay healthier. Without enough food, our body will be setting down and the health will go into downhill. Putak and Puwot went there to get some interview they bought working hard and went there to get an interview for the real life, so they got some donation. 
sent from the U.S. to protect and promote, and then they are searching for poor people who they need help. And he went there now to give them some money. It probably can help them a little bit. If you see this video, please share the video. You would like to help them. And if you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video I upload to my YouTube channel. We live in America so that everything is just too much and we didn't even understand whatever around the world people struggle and suffer from their starving, no clothes, no shelter, and get some stuck with their lives and then uh, too much sadness and depressed and stressful because there's no exit and no future. They try their best they can to working hard to earning income, but uh, in no way because there's no job, especially in the government are very poor too. So everything, nothing can uh, change and get poor and poor. If they want to get a better life, only one chance, getting a job and then sending the kid go to school, get more education, and they will get a good job and earn good money, but especially you can see here, it's the open field, no factory, no anything, even no transportation if they had the kid go to school because they could not afford it. It's not about only transportation, only enough clothes, enough shelters, and enough food to eat, and enough money to go see doctor, they could not afford it either. This is the end of the story. Real life: a grandpa two soy, seventy-five years old, and grandma Imlon, seventy-one years old. If you would like to help, please share this video. And if you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video I upload to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your watching and support and you will like you. We'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.